Leaders in one mountain community are calling the high price of housing an emergency, and they are searching for solutions. The high prices are making it pretty much impossible for workers to live there. Our Mountain Newsroom reporter Jamie Leary checking in from Summit County. And Jamie, they really do know they have a serious problem on their hands. High prices and low inventory, Jim. Summit County just made an official emergency proclamation to deal with the crisis, which has been around, but now it's bigger than ever. And while the state has recently agreed to contribute stimulus money, that's not immediate. So they're hoping this proclamation will bring attention to the issue to anybody that can help. People are living in their cars at trailheads and selling belongings. Others, many of them, have just chosen to leave. Get the, produce, okay? the food bank at the Family and Intercultural Resource Center is always busy these days. Luckily, it's still running. But with housing in short supply, that means employees here are too. It's become a crisis for our workforce. Um, us personally, we have our nonprofit thrift store shut down because we don't have enough employees. Um, people are forced out of this community and then we don't have anybody to work here. The county needs about 3,000 units to fill the need and that number keeps growing with long-term rentals converting to short. They have been renting for, you know, five, seven, ten years and all of a sudden their homeowners are deciding to sell or to move to short term. And so there's just nowhere to go. The state recently announced stimulus funds for Summit County, but that won't be available for another year. In the meantime, we are looking at any hotel that we might be able to buy and retrofit. Um, we're looking at some unconventional approaches like winter camping. You know? A big priority is incentivizing owners of short-term rentals. There are ways that we can make it feasible for that property owner to rent long-term. You know, think about that because your contribution back to Summit County's economy is invaluable. The need is urgent. We don't have shelters and a lot of families we know are living out of their cars, on trailheads. There truly is nowhere to go. The state has committed to contributing about four to five hundred million dollars in stimulus funding likely available next legislative session short term. Summit County has a plan to roll out solutions that will be phased to the housing crisis. That will happen likely in mid-June. Live in Summit County, Jamie Leary, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom.